Hello, welcome back, uh, Simona Cocchi, The Italian Way. I'm excited, um, first of all, because I put together some uh, incredible new tools uh, to edit my videos, and it seems like I'm driving a race car now. And uh, second is because I'm going to introduce one of the most important country uh, uh, in the world, and I waited till now mm, to have... Uh, um, a complete uh, uh, knowledge on uh, China um, uh, Pavilion also because it's really something incredible what they brought to Italy and so also you are gonna discover how much uh, the uh, technology is related uh, to um, China and uh, nowadays uh, contemporary art. Um, I have also to highlight and to um, to give a little bit of uh, um, personal thanking, uh, thanking to uh, this country, I mean China, because I've been living for a while there in Shanghai while I was lecturing at uh, Sizun, uh, Shanghai International Study University, and I was... Uh, uh, lecturing uh, in the cor course of uh, fashion and design communication and I had also a bunch of uh, conferences at IFA Paris and Emilion Business School on Made in Italy communication and I had the pleasure to uh, discover personally how much uh, the Chinese are uh, meticulous and really involved in the uh, tradition of um, their country, but also they are uh, extremely, uh, uh, um, uh, they show an immense gratitude uh, to our country. So that uh, after my experience there, uh, my um, students come over in Italy and uh, to keep on study and, uh, in fashion and uh, design fields uh, so that I'm really proud to introduce this uh, pavilion, a Chinese pavilion, also because uh, you are going to discover a uh, few details uh, on uh, how the Chinese uh, uh, um, um, people are so developed in uh, digital art. Uh, so let's start uh, diving directly into uh, the first slide. Okay, so this is the cover, and um, it is produced, uh, the pavilion has been produced by AT Group, a very high-level technology company in China, and uh, the artists uh, uh, were Liu Yaxu, Hu Lei, Wang Yuan, uh, sorry for my pronunciation, even I've been there, and um, I didn't manage to... Um, speak it Chinese, curated by Sang Dan Dong, Zhang Qigan, and uh, Metascape is inspired to the scape uh, and is represented by uh, the poetry in the traditional Chinese uh, um, literary context. Uh, from the contemporary uh, perspective of media, uh, they wanted to transform the, re uh, the, mm, the reality, so something that in uh, uh, real in, uh, in China, I mean the geological landscape, uh, and uh, turn it into that could be represented as uh, tech, uh, digital. So it's complete the opposite of metaverse. Escape is an evolving term in the discourse system of uh, traditional uh, uh, Chinese culture. Let's uh, discover together this. This artwork referring to the concept of Yu Gong, the earliest geological imagination and thinking in China. It reshapes the terrain of China through AI, aiming to create a new geological origin for the Chinese culture in the new era. 
So the first step was that we needed to find an interesting and representative data source of topographical height information. We need to train an ML model, stand all of these different bits of detail in it, and to make new pieces of terrain for us to, to make our final 3D composite. Yes, we needed to actually get those back to being height maps or 3D models because at the moment they're just a description of the surface. So to do that we actually trained another model. This is a pix to pix type model. That type of model is designed to, to train an AI to understand the relationship between a, an, an A set and a B set. So now we get to the second main part of our process for, for creating our final sculptures and textures and outputs. In that way we end up with this A set and a B set which we were then able to train our own second pix to pix model so that it was able to estimate and, and transfer from depth back into a sort of Chinese painting texture. Two parts were created in this artwork, mountain sculpture production and motion graphics creation. Eight projectors were applied to mapping the 21 meter long sculpture surface in the exhibition. A historical burg wall space transformed into an immersive poetic field. A heritage and culture space void of physical content is filled with floating motion graphics emerging from the AI. It's expected to display the cognition of civilization from different perspectives and the desire of each person for imagination through the translation by using AI. is going to close its door because the 27th of November, um, the 59th edition of Biennale uh, will close its door, but uh, we're going to be back with uh, more Biennale events in different uh, uh, disciplines. And of course, I'm going to be absolutely linked to that uh, incredible organization that has spread all over the world so um thank you for watching me please show me some love from time to time so give me some likes and most important if it's possible for you if it doesn't bother you please subscribe to my channel and um yeah, we're going to see us uh, soon again before uh, Biennale Arte will close. Okay? Keep on staying tuned. Simona Cocchi, The Italian Way. Ciao.